Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jack Koch and William Dalsit presenting to you the Mark Laus versus Crawford game. Oh, this should be a really good game, William. We are quite familiar with uh, Mark Laus being from KZN, us both playing for the Clifton team. And I don't know, this Mark Laus team, they always seem committed, they always seem like they're up for a challenge, and I'm really excited for this game. Yes, they are a big school. They're a school, if they get pumped up, they can really turn it on. They haven't really had a great tournament, but let's see if they can actually uh, turn a game around and get a win. I'll tell you what, here's the names coming up. Ooh, I'll tell you what, the one to watch here is Angus Ferguson for Mark Laus. Person on left-hander, he's dangerous, you can have a good shot on him, and I'm excited. Also, we're, we, we played in our first pool game, we were able to play Crawford Lone Hill. Definitely a play to watch from their number eight, Jordan Will. Is there, he's their playmaker, he's their goal scorer. So it was also be another one to watch. I tell you what, it's Cameron Goat. I personally played at number six. I played against him in our game, and he's a little bit tricky. He likes looking for the passes, spinning. This is Crawford team. They look like they're always keen to play. They're always looking for something, and yeah, I think they they do have a bit of a smart team in, way, in the way that they play. Yeah, it's very good. All the teams getting ready now, doing their war cries, Ooh. houses war cry, or. In a, get themselves pumped up, ready for a game, ready to a, for a riveting fixture. Well, this Mark Laus keeper is a new boy from Mark Laus. He came from St. Andrews College in Grahamstown. And I think the Mark Laus guys are happy to have him. He's a decent keeper, can pull off some good saves, he's a big boy. Yes, Jack, I'm sure they're glad to have him. Uh, they're losing a... Losing a very good keeper this Ooh, year geez. of in Luke Johnson. Ooh, Luke Johnson, he is an was an he's, absolutely uh, he he's he's well in the running for a place in the KZN under nineteen A team. He's a tall boy. I think he's probably told his keeper a lot of uh, tips and and just movements and how to play. And he is just a great keeper. Yeah, very good, very good. Looks like the game should be starting soon. Coach is calling for the balls. Crawford, Crawford just finished their little walk cry. And now it's almost game on, eh? Oh, I am excited. The atmosphere is actually really amazing. Here, St. Stillian's always hosts a great festival. William and I just played Saints right now in the quarters. And I'll tell you what, we were 4-0 up. And with the crowds backing of Saints, they pulled it back to 4-4. It was just too hard to play against them with the crowd backing them. This atmosphere is just amazing at this tournament. Yes, Jack, definitely. It's a team like St. Stadium is very hard to beat with the crowd behind them. They had their whole stand filled. It was unbelievable to play in, but it was very hard to play against. What I really love is just the support for every game. You know, there's always, the crowd is always here. There's always people on the stands watching the games, which is always great for teams playing. So off now, and Andrew Cameron, from Mark Laus winning the storm off, passing it to Sam Kasher. Mark Laus setting up the it ball looks nicely. Like, uh, looks like uh, Crawford are uh, applying the M zone drop. Ooh. So it's a very, it's a very risky drop, but when it comes off, it is just counter attack after counter attack. See the Mark Laus home man, William Marshall, working quite hard. Get the ball. In, uh, oh. Great steal from the number five from Crawford. Setting up a counter right here. Counter, they double man up, counter attack up the pool. Let's see if they conver can convert oh. in the first chucker. This is looking dangerous, William. Sadly, poor pass, but let's see if they can uh, convert off their six on six man on man play. Oh, good, good press here. Great laddering by Angus Ferguson getting the ball down. He's looking to counter quick. Oh, and that could oh, come with nicely here, but no, the ball's come out and the, the counter-attack has slightly slowed down for Mark Laus as the keeper has to go fetch the ball. Ball is passed, Andrew Cameron holding the ball up. Samuel Kasher holding the ball, looking to shoot maybe. Oh, he oh, should. Oh, that thrown was it close. over. The, it was the right idea, William. He was in space. I'd personally bounce the ball there, but you know what? 
the, those could come off a while against these keepers. This is, these are big goals, and if it goes top corner, it's very hard for the keepers to save. Yeah, so also, I can see the intention. Also, it's very hard for us coming from KZN up here, where, the, where we're high in altitude. The ball travels a lot faster and a lot further, so we have to adjust our shooting quite a bit. Well, this is good passing around, good movements by. Oh, oh and that unbelievable is lob! A stupendous lob by the number three from Crawford. Wow, that was really something. The scenes here are just amazing. Oh, Jared Fuchs. Very good. Cheapers. That is something very special. Straight out the top draw from the young man. Once again, Mark Lass is just quite patient in their attack. Trusting the system. Ooh, from range. Oh, again. Oh, oh, great save. And a great save by the keeper from Crawford Lone Hill. Oh, setting up a nice counter here. Crawford, I've been really impressed with the counters here. They, they seem to be wanting to attack against Mark Lass, wanting to score, and the tension's all there. Good covering back from Andy Cameron for Mark Lass, the number 12. Yeah. That's very good fetching from uh, Jamie Debo. Oh, lovely. Looking up the pool. Uh, passing up. Angus Ferguson, the danger man, with a great spin. Oh, looking for the Oh, he's just holding up the ball there. Passes it to Jamie Debo. That was actually very good marking from the number good six marking. from Crawford Lone Hill. Oh, and oh, ball goes gets the center. ball in. Oh, he was. Oh, very, very good, good goal. goal. That was great, Andy. Take a bow, son. How's it? I'll tell you why it's with him. Andy is a strong boy. He's, he's big, he can swim hard, and when the ball comes in there, and if he's in the right position, he's got long arms, he's going to score every time. Oh, unbelievable oh, scenes there. here at uh, St. Sethian's College. Look at the replay there. I think Crawford were looking for the reversal there with Andy uh, having his arm above the water, but the refs didn't seem to spot that, and we'll have to trust the rest with that one. William Marshall working the whole day, he's working very hard. Ball's looking to come in, no? Pass around, good patience by Mark Laos. Jay Debo. Oh, the danger man. Oh, he dumps uh, it. That, that was smart. With the time running down on the shot clock, that was very smart play by Angus Ferguson. Crawford keeper holding the ball up, waiting for options. Good cross passes here. Oh, oh, great defense. Oh no, but they're not giving up yet. Oh, smart move by the Mark Laus keeper. Yeah, under pressure there. You know, you'd rather instead of holding it up, risking a five meter, risking reversal, you just got to throw it out. I think that was the right move by the Mark Laus keeper. Just showing a bit of experience there. Mark Laus looking to press here, not wanting to. Oh, Jamie Diebel. Oh, uh, Jamie Diebel caught just, napping, just gets caught. spun, two hands, un two hands under the water, he's got to go. I tell you what, that was, I was trying to say at the beginning of the game, this Crawford team, they're, they're off the ball, they're going to try to turn you, try to get to just around you, getting in a good position, and that's exactly what happened then. Jamie Diebel just caught napping. Oh. Ooh, dangerous shot. But then Angus Ferguson's looking for the ball, but the keeper's not getting it. Oh, uh, I was just a little bit too late. Oh, he's given it. Goes for it. Let's see, what, let's see what Angus can, can do yeah, in front looking, of the goals. Always looking for the spin. Oh, oh, oh. and that was a very hard shot by Angus Ferguson. Mark Laos still have the ball. New 30 for them. They're going to look to set up a new attack here. See, Jack, here in these goals, they're very big goals. You're going to have to throw that off the water. Throws it off the water, he scores. Yeah, I'll tell you what. If you throw it off the uh, water here in Joburg, the ball's just going to bounce every time. Bounce it just before the keeper. The ball's going to roof, go on the top roof of the nets. That's what you want to do. That's exactly. Oh, what the Mark danger man from Crawford Lonel. Oh, I told you about sadly uh, a shot doesn't come. Talking off. about bouncing the ball and roofing it. That's exactly what my fellow commentator William Dowsett did here in the quarterfinals against Saints with an absolutely marvelous strike from about nine meters out. Like that's what you want to do. Thanks, oh, Jack. Mark oh, get up for the number six for Mark Klaus. Oh, counter he's, attack. He's going to look it's to shoot it here. Do. Oh, oh, he's got to bounce just, the ball there, Jack. I know, that we just keep saying it. But, oh. 
Tachaki here ends one all. So right, this is going to be a very good game, William. I'm excited about watching the rest of the next three chuckers. I'll tell you what, I didn't want that chucker to end. Yeah. Right there, Mark Klaus was looking good. So, so uh, uh, Crawford, they're just countering off each other and creating chances every time. This is not a boring game, I'll tell you that yes, much. Yes, definitely, Jack. The water, water polo here this weekend has been unbelievable. Let's, I would encourage everyone watching here on live stream, get down to Saints as soon as possible. It's just only get better, gonna get better throughout the oh, day. The vibe here is just amazing, William. I'll tell you what, coming tomorrow, finals day, it is gonna be packed. We, we've actually played two years ago in the final of this of this great tournament against St. John's where, and the crowd was just everywhere. You could not get a seat to watch. Definitely. The weather is unbelievable. Everything has just come out for a perfect day of water polo here at St. Stinian's oh, I'm College. loving it, William. I do not want to leave. Just My class coach, Jock Richter, looking, just talking to his team there, talking to William Marshall in particular. He, he's a very good coach at telling about attacking. He wants my class to play positive water polo, get the ball up, shoot the ball when, it, when necessary. Look at the replay there. Oh, and that's Just look at the replays Andrew here. Cameron. Andy Cameron with a great goal. Just watching the... There you go, there's your danger man, Angus Ferguson, again with the shot. We are fortunate enough to be joined by Aston Lawson. <laughs> oh, so sadly, he doesn't want to come have a word with us, but uh, very, very young, exciting player. Now the new first team coach at DHS. DHS. I'll tell you what. Aston, please come have a word with us. DHS have a young team, I'll tell you that much. And with a great a young coach as Aston, playing in, who played uh, is, is KZN under 19 a water polo two years ago, when they actually won the tournament. It's great. Yeah. Uh, Aston, it's looking really positive for DHS. Oh, that's a kick out surely. Aston, he give us, some, give us uh, some of your thoughts on the game and the whole tournament. Yeah, at St. Sidney's College. Just talk about the vibe. Okay, Mark Klaus setting up the attack here. Get Aston, as we get Aston Lawson into the booth. <laughs> uh, no, you know what? What a, what a great tournament. Oh, 52 is. schools run incredibly well. Oh! oh I've only, I've only got positive things to say. Andrew and you know, Cameron, what a great day of polo we're having. Jeez. How's your DHS team done so far today? Oh, you know, today was a win. Um, the boys really played to, the, to their potential. And uh, yeah, I was fine. I was stoked to, to get the win, but... Uh, we are we are to to give our best. The results will come. So I got some um, good prospects in that team. I'm excited to see where it comes. Yeah, quite a few grade eights. Um, grade eights. Eight. That's a very young team. I yeah, about four, and uh, the boys are they're really giving it their all. Um, but yeah, you know, it's such a such a beautiful day, and it's great to hear the uh, the coach is positive about how his team is playing and how, where they where they're going to be in a few years' time. I'll tell you that much. No, it's it's yeah. It uh, goes without saying, you know. But yeah, you know. Hopefully, you got a game later. Hopefully, the boys can bring. Oh, and I have to end you, your. Uh, you speaking out there with the number six from Mark Klaus with a great shot from the perimeter. Great save by the Crawford Lone Hill number one. Thank you very much for coming, Aston. No it's great to hear about your thoughts on your team. See you later in the, on in the day. Sorry, Aston had to leave there. He was uh, he was summoned away by his oh, team. Oh, and we look at the replay there, and that was a great save. Again, I have to emphasize that the bouncing of the ball. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh, Good ball steal. into center, but sadly, Will Marshall uh, couldn't convert. So Will Marshall's giving it his all out here. It's a good drop coming from the Crawford team, but Will's just keep working. It's kind of Crawford number six. Looking See, Jack, ball. as a center forward, it's vital, vital, very vital to... Uh, oh, and a great block from the mark... Uh, from Sa was that Samuel Kasher? Well, Yes, Ooh. indeed it was. But uh, as I was saying, Jack, as a centre forward, you have to keep your head up. Got to know where the ball is. Yeah, Got to know all, we'll, at all times. Will worked very well there, but sadly, he just uh, didn't keep his head up and didn't know where the ball was. Oh, lovely! As oh, great steal! Oh, reversal there! Great steal by the Crawford number three. So these guys, they're smart. This Crawford team, I'll tell you that much. Ooh. Crawford looking to create attack here, pass the ball in the hole. Oh, great work from the Crawford Lono number eight. I think you said you picked him out as one of the ones to watch for this game, William. He's yes, a definitely, boy. Jack. Uh, he played against us. He got got a very few a few few kickouts against us. Uh, I think he got our our whole guard Lawrence Walton uh, ki uh, cap off for three majors, Ooh. and I might I think he might even oh, score against uh, us. Oh, oh, <laughs> that is look at him. A 
dumbfounding shot by the Crawford Lone Hill number eight. William, I should have trusted you more when you said at the beginning, this man is a danger man. If I was my class, I'd look to be maybe dropping down on him, looking to just... just Let's have a look at the replay here. Oh, great, great ball to close corner. Lots of finesse into the top right corner. I'll tell you what, William, in these, in these goals and this kind of sauce circumstances you either got to bounce the ball near corner or you got to throw it cross cage top corner that's how you're going to score Jamie Debo looking for the foul here looking Angus looking Ferguson, for Angus looking Ferguson for but uh, can't get there oh, oh good shot shooting oh, but ooh. great block from the number oh. 10 from Crawford Lionel oh, right, guys. Crawford Oh, into the oh, danger, man. Again, danger. Oh, just, just, just a minor just foul. Minor foul Give it to Jamie oh, Debo. Jamie with a Debo. Great sale, but no, the Crawford number six. Easy save by the keeper. Showing his experience there, not diving. Oh, the danger, man. The Angus, Ferguson. Angus Ferguson. Let's see what he can do. Well? Will he try spin? He, oh, of he course, he goes for spin. I think the lob. Oh, oh. Unbelievable. That was amazing, William. Scenes here at the. Saints main pool, Jack, Angus Ferguson. You picked out Angus as one of the danger men, oh. and here we can see that he is actually a very, very good S player. I'll tell you what, that's straight out of the top draw, William. Look at this. Goes for a spin, gets the ball back again, shoot near corner bounce, and the keeper has zero chance of saving that. Angus, as I said, very hard shot. The keeper's not going to save it from there when he bounces the ball. Jack, it's almost as if he heard us from the last time oh. telling him to bounce the ball. I love that. Oh, good laddering oh, back. Class. Offie Butcher ho um, holding up the ball. I'll give us to Angus Ferguson. Showing that Angus being a senior player in the team, really showing his experience here, holding up the ball. Sam Casho on the drive. Holds up for the Mark class number 10. Grace again. Ooh, reversal. Sadly, Jack, the Mark class players are just crowding the hole way too much. Mm. They need to find a set hole, man. Set him at centre forward yeah. and play around him. Get the ball to him. Ooh. Crawford number six here. Looking past the ball back. No, knew he wasn't going to get much out of just pushing himself into the corner. Oh, Paul in. Oh, oh again. Oh. oh, unbelievable. Yes, oh. number eight. That's, Jeez, that, that is a goal you can play. celebration there. I've never seen anything like that. It was just a little flick of the wrist. Jordan will remember the name. Jordan, you will be able to celebrate that goal. Oh, tell you what, in games like these, you need to you need to claim those goals. You know, it's, it really just pumps up the whole team, pumps up yourself, saying, you know what, I deserve that goal. Oh, looking at the replay there, bottom corner. Marcos, number 30, steering the ball, holding it up. Oh, danger man. Oh, oh straight nut. Oh, the keeper was no. not impressed. Oh. Oh, a little bit of profanity What's maybe happening from Angus there. A little bit lucky to not oh, Crawford get caught up the ref. They get a get, get out of free jail card there. I'm Ooh. not going to lie. Angus was not happy with that one. Will it, William and I One second left. Oh. Oh. oh, yes. That was so good. That Even his teammates are claiming it. Oh. You know, that's where it's good. Mark Klaus, not great in such chucker there, but I don't know these boys. They're not going to put their heads down. They're going to carry on fighting. That's just the way Mark Klaus play all sports. No matter if it's rugby, hockey, tennis, cricket, they're just going to carry on fighting. Yes, Jack, it seems to be a uh, theme in this tournament where teams just don't stop fighting. They play last, right to the last oh, whistle. Jeez. In our, in our quarterfinal, we went four goals up in the f uh, first chucker. About three minutes into the second chucker, we were four all. Teams are just have the ability to fight back and uh, create goals and create something out of nothing. No, it's William. I'm going to make a bold claim here and say that it's the crowd, it's the atmosphere. You know, it really means a lot when you're working and the, the crowd is celebrating everything that you do. No matter when, you, if you steal it, if you score a goal, it just makes you that feeling. You just want to score again. You know? Yeah, definitely, Jack. Here's my class. Um, the refs here are two, two KZN refs, very, very established refs on J Jared Applegren and uh, Greg. Yeah, Greg. Greg, the overdrive. <laughs> Jared Applegren looking to 
start the chucker again, looking at the clock. Or we're just looking at the replay here. Oh, and then Jordan will bottom corner finish. You know, the Mike Lars keeper is not going to get his, his arms aren't long enough. If you put a bouncer there, if you I'll tell you what, if Jordan shot it anywhere in the with, uh, in the air near the Mike Lars keeper, as, he as we can this. see, uh, uh, Angus Ferguson was not happy with that call when he scored. But uh, oh, and again, I tell you, you know, what, that's how Polo is. The refs, the refs have the discretion, and they decided that uh, Dwight wasn't a goal, so it, just not. Can you believe that it's already the second chucker? The third chucker, it's already been two, half Two chuckers in. Oh. Uh, Crawford Lono are uh, two goals up. But uh, I can assure you, Mark Glass have, have the ability to come back and win this game. Great takers by Jared Applegren. Oh, how's that touch? He has it. Fierce and we're up here. and running in the third chucker. Oh, oh tight, tightly contested Sumov, but uh, Crawford Lionel come away with the ball. Jack, the Sumov and water polo, actually it's quite an important stra uh, important part of the game because uh, if, you if you win your Sumov, you get an extra attack. Uh, or theoretically, you get yeah. an extra attack uh, than uh, like the other team. So, oh, or number go. five oh. rocks. Oh, straight sadly, in straight in the keeper's chest. I tell you, just going back to the Sumov as well, just that little bit of confidence even, you know, swing out the pool. You don't want to defend first, uh, first um, play of the chucker. You want you want to attack. You want to score goals. Yes, definitely. Angus Ferguson looking for as our uh, as our coach uh, Paul Martin, the SA men's coach. He said, uh, "Water polo is all about confidence. If you don't have confidence, you can't play this game." Yeah. Angus looking for the cross passes there. Oh, oh, great, great goal! But he's just taken way too long to shoot it. Uh, you can't do that, William. Angus Ferguson was not happy with that. He wanted the cross pass. He knows that he has the ability to score from range. Number six from Crawford wanting the ball, did not get the ball. It's very good defense by young Angus Ferguson. Angus Ferguson, will he get there? Oh, oh unbelievable saving. Great well save. done, boys. Oh, can't stop playing. Oh, that never died. Oh, what a save. Oh, this keeper is having a great third chucker. Oh, good steal there. I think I was just a little bit of impatience by the Mark Laos keeper there. You yes, don't need to. You know, you're under pressure, you're two goals down, you don't want to rush anything. Oh, here's the replay here. Oh, that was of this. Goal in the second chucker. Yeah, again, that was the last three. chucker, that, that replay. Again, here we are there. again live. Uh, Crawford take up the pool very slowly. Ah, it's fine, they're two goals oh, up, they don't want to rush anything. Put into the danger, man. Oh, let's Jordan see what he can Wolf. do with it. Oh, mile of foul. The ball, that, the ball comes the, out. that crash down from uh, Mark Klaus is just a oh, little you bit have to uh, rush him there. Oh. Just a little bit too slow, eh, Jack? Uh, just the audacity of Jordan Wall to go for the lob shot there. He is a man in form. He backs himself to score from there. You know, next time maybe they'll come off. Yes, definitely, Jack. Another man in form, we can say, is a man in our team, uh, number five, Todd Howard. Oh, Todd he Howard. is definitely, definitely a man to watch. Eh? I'm I'll not going to lie. He is just amazing to play with. He, he has abilities to score from in, everywhere and I think teams realise that in this tournament. Angus for, oh, Andy Cameron, he wants, he fancies himself oh. here. Oh, just very, very out. hard shot but if, uh, if, you don't miss the if you don't hit the target, might as well not shoot. I tell you what, I thought that was a goal. He beat the keeper there, he bounced the ball, the keeper was not going to get there. It's just a little bit unlucky of going wide. William Marshall looking to press. Corporate coach shouting to him for the number three to go in. Right, oh, Jamie Deeble getting the ball at halfway, looking for the distribution. Oh, Andy Cameron. Oh, great just patience there, passing it back. Oh, it's just unlucky for Jamie to not get, gather the ball there. Oh. I think he fancies himself here. Ooh. What? There's a two meter cord there. Two meter. Jack, I think uh, my class are just lacking the strength in the hole at the moment. Uh, the whole men are almost actually getting dominated to the back. They just can't oh, get around. And that is a red water. card for. Oh, it is the Crawford number four sitting on the bench. I'm not too sure what happened there. But referee Jared Applegren, he was sure of the red card. He there was no hesitation there. He obviously 
didn't like whatever the Crawford number four was doing. It's a reversal, but a little bit unlucky. Andy Cameron, a little bit confused there, drops the ball. Oh, how's this counter by Crawford? They're going to want to pass the ball up here. Oh, the cross pass is on. Middle. Oh, middle. Oh, 13. Oh. Oh. Very good goal. And I, I have to feel sorry for Mark Klaus. They were just unlucky on getting caught on the counter. Yes, also Jack, they've got a very young side here, you know. Uh, they, lost, they lost quite a few matrix, strong matrix. Uh, uh, we actually played them last year, or b it, like the end of this year, in the top 10 and Clifton tournament. I tell you what, the, that, the matric year from this year, 2017, they had some dangerous men there. Including hey. one who uh, he is listening to commentary right now, Ross Cheshire. He was a whole, very good man to roll into the hole. I think the Mark Klaus team are just missing him right now. Yes, definitely. He, they, they uh, played uh, Hilton College in the Clifton tournament, and they pulled off a draw to them, Who and Clift, uh, Hilton College came second at the KZN Top 10. So, Lovely. Offi Busher uh, wants the ball in the hole here. Not getting it. I th oh! A little bit unlucky. I'll Going tell you back what. to that, Jack. Uh, yeah, young Ross Cheshire. He was he played an instrumental part in the in that game against Hilton College. I think he must have scored four goals. Oh, I remember watching that game. Well, it was just in the lights at Clifton Aquatic Centre. It was the atmosphere was electric. Number six from Crawford looking to spin the ball. Great steal by Andy Cameron. Jack, oh, Andy Cameron has definitely been one of the main main instrumental oh. players in this. Uh, I told you, William, he's a strong boy. He's big. This Mark swim. Glass uh, I think Angus Ferguson oh. fancies himself. And he buries it. Catching the keeper napping there. That was a lovely goal. Jack, the keeper didn't even get his arms out the water there. That is just an unbelievable shot from uh, Angus Ferguson. Power and straight down the middle, keeping it simple. Afi Butcher here looking to press. Ooh, he oh, we're looking at the replay here. And oh, the keeper uh. had no chance. Angus Ferguson. Great. So it's hard to mark the left handers. They just. When Angus did the low looker there, I don't think the keeper expected it at all. Crawford just having a little bit of a slow attack here. There's only 39 seconds left. I don't think. Oh! I don't think the Crawford keep, uh, coach will be too happy about that. They had the full 30. They want to slow the game down. Just take their time. Stop Mark Klaus from attacking. Mark Klaus need to take their time here. Be patient. Use their whole attack and try to score a goal here. They score 5-4 and they're back in this game. Oh, Angus. Oh, oh. no. You've got to relax, son. Oh. Looks like oh, Crawford is right up here. Oh, and no, you can't leave a man open. You can't let him. Oh, oh, but sadly, just a very, very soft shot. And almost hit the, the keeper in the chucker. chest. Slightly slower chucker here, there, Will. Still, of course, uh, there was the intent of shooting. The attack, King Flair, was there. But I think just the fitness here is just starting to just trying to get to the players. Yes, definitely. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you've uh, just tuned in now, we're going into the fourth chucker of the Michael House versus Crawford Lone Hill game. Uh, Crawford are two goals up, 5-3, and uh, should should be an exciting finish. Oh, it should, I promise you right now, well, this game is promising an exciting finish. It, there's just no way, with the way that both teams are playing, the intent, there's been long shots, they just both want to score goals. There's no negative polo being played here from the Crawford team, they, they have the lead, they're not going to sit back and, oh, we're just looking at the replay here, oh, again, keeper has no chance there. Look at that. Oh, Angus Fergus, this was a great goal, wasn't it? Oh, oh it's just unbelievable, Jack. Unbelievable Jeff. polo, William. Oh, I'll tell you what, well, I'm going to have that had on The absolutely repeat. no chance. I'm recording on my phone right now, watching it again later. That was just a great goal. As you, can, as you can see here, uh, Jack, the crowd is just, the whole stand is packed. Even though it's uh, no, no, not a big game, for the, for the boys it's a big game, for their parents it's a big game, and the crowd is still packed. I 
I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm privileged to be commentating here with William Dowsett. SA under 17A player. Went to Czech Republic earlier on in the year where they played uh, in the Europe EU Nations uh, tournaments. And how, how did you guys do in that tournament, William? Yeah, Jack, we actually were very fortunate enough to win it. Oh, first, first time South Africa's ever won the tournament. It's oh, promising uh, for South Africa. Like, I'm super proud and like, excited to carry on with my water polo career. Oh, that's great to hear. Well, it's always nice seeing young, young players really keen to play water polo, really keen to just improve on their, uh, on their play. Okay, the start of the chucker here. Kofi are having some drives. They're a very mobile team. They don't stay still. A little bit of patience here. Oh, ball in. Go to Jordan Will. Oh, oh he's hit the post. I tell you what, he was very unlucky there. He got the keeper caught. Angus Ferguson. You don't know what he's going to do. You really don't. Yes, you know Jack. what he wants to do. He wants to score goals, but... Oh, Sam Kasher, a little bit of patience there. Jack, Angus is one of those players where uh, commonly in water polo, they're referred to as Mavericks. Oh, yeah. You just don't know what they're going to oh, do. He is a and Maverick. And when it works oh. for them, it just comes off. Oh. They can score me so many goals in a game. Oh, Angus looking for the hard ball in the hole. Oh, he gets it. Oh. Uh, Sadly, he's got no time to work. I tell you what, if he had time there, I can assure you that would have been a goal. Crawford looking to attack here. Oh, ball goes in. Oh, absolutely great crash from Andy Cameron. He has really been a silent force here, really helping Mark Lowe's play in attack and defence. Definitely, Jack. Angus is holding up the ball here. Oh, we've got William Marshall working in oh, the hole here. He work, gets well, the ball. He goes for back the back shot. shot. Oh. oh, William Marshall, former uh, goalkeeper, actually. He's just come at, he's just slotted straight into this team, playing a whole man. He's a strong boy. He looked for the back shot there. It was just a little bit unfortunate. Yes, Jack, former Clifton Prep boy. Played uh, goalkeeper for Clifton Prep, uh, grade 6 and 7. Yeah, and played KZN, under 13. Yes, didn't he? and he's oh. uh, made the under 13 KZN side. Having uh, said that, that was a off, good shot by the under class. Ooh. Holding up, good long pass. Sam Kasher fetching the ball. Angus again looking for the ball there, but he is, I'm afraid he is crowding the hole for William Marshall. One of them needs to move move around. Oh, oh, oh that's a good fight there. Angus Go Ferguson. Angus. Oh. oh, what he's going to do? Oh, oh. Angus, Angus. you got to bounce the ball there, boy. You have to bounce the ball. You're working so well. I'll tell you what. I know he's going to hit himself thinking about that one. Oh. Jack, two goals down. Jack, two goals down, and. Uh, Jacques Richter has now told his players to go up the pool oh, and try to defend the man it down. Could come off. Unbelievable oh, keeping. Two meter. It's a two meter. That was a great save. I tell you, off the water, it's, he, he did the right thing there. It's just the keeper was just too good. Hey, Jack, sending, sending, sending someone up is a tactic when you're chasing a game and uh, oh, you, yeah. you can either go three, three goals down or uh, back oh. your keeper in your defense. Oh. oh. Sadly, uh, uh, not coming off him. A little time. claim by that number 13, just giving himself a little bit of confidence there. I appreciate that one. Michael Mathers. Oh. All right, lad. Oh, That's very good walk, finishing. Two walk. Bouncing the ball into the top of the net. I'll tell you what, if he didn't bounce the ball there, it would have been blocked by one of the Marklos guys or the keeper. Look here, one book, two, oh, not even two books, just bounces it near corner. Jack, he's one-on-one -on -one of the keeper. He's thrown in that book just to move the keeper a little bit and open up his near side where he could just bounce it into the top of the net. When the, we have a timeout here. Mark Klaus, coach, just trying to calm his players down, tell them what, exactly what he wants done. Great tactic shown by the coach. Jack, Mark, Mark Klaus, did he score yet to bring themselves back into this game? If they don't score yet, I think this game's pretty much done and dusted. A little bit of banter on the bench there from the Crawford team. Just a little, just it shows a good relationship between the manager and the players. Yes, that uh, Crawford Lionel bench looking very relaxed and very composed. Mark Lass looking to set up the D here. Oh, 
show a little bit drive there. Ball goes into Andy Cameron. He was unlucky to get the ball stolen there. A little Jack, reversal to him. Jack, in water polo, everything is about passing. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the bike class passing has just not been up to scratch. I tell you what, William, playing in a game, you, you've worked hard, you're in the hole, you've got front water, you get a shot. Oh! Have oh! I said, if you get a shocking pass, it's just, it's not, it's, it doesn't make you feel good, you're going to be annoyed, you're going to not want to swim back. Oh, no, poor pass there by the Mike House keeper. Angus Ferguson there's nothing, kicked out. There's nothing worse as a water polo player to get a bad pass. There, oh, Jack. that was so close. Close back shot by the... Oh, he's one on one. Oh, oh bounce the ball, lad. Oh, off your butcher, covered defense. Pass back to the Mike House keeper. He's not wanting to rush anything off that pass that he did in the last attack. He really wants to make the right pass here. Looking at the replay. Oh, one book. Oh, very unlucky, William. Very unlucky. Young Samuel Kasher. I'll tell you what Michael House are missing here. They're missing the flair of Angus Ferguson. Obviously, the altitude getting to him, a little bit of fatigue. It's all right. He's, he's done his job today. I, can't, I cannot fault his play. Oh, the danger man, Jordan Mills from Crawford Lone Hill. There's See what pass. they can do. Pass ball. Marcus oh, he's on a drive. Steal. Oh. Ooh. So as we, as we come into the final minutes here, oh. it is very tense. Let's see what he can do. Ooh. The camera is not really showing the action. But Jamie Diebel, just po easy cross uh, pass back to the keeper. Yes, Jack. Uh, I'm sure this game is pretty much done and dusted now. The Mark Class boys are just playing for pride uh, at the moment. Right. I'll tell you what, they're not stopping playing. It may, it may be too, too late to win the game, but they still want to score a goal. They want, they want to finish with Sam oh. Kasher. Plus Andy Cameron. Andy Cameron. Oh, oh and that was, you're so unlucky not to score there. The keeper with a great save. I'll tell you what, well, I, I'd hate to say it, but he had to bounce the ball there. Yes, Jack. The difference between good teams and great teams is that great teams... Wouldn't miss that opportunity and they yeah, would score. No. You know, um, Knockout Polo here, as our uh, coach says, the team with the least mistakes win the game. Um, and I'm afraid that is a mistake by the Mark Last team. And the accumulated mistakes that they've made this uh, match has just not uh, gone their way. And they've ended yes, up losing. Jack. That, oh, that is foul. so true. I fancy Andy Cameron from this range. Oh, oh, oh passes it. Great vision. 99 vision. Oh. 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 Very He's unlucky. so unlucky to score that. And that's oh. the game. Oh. Oh. There's one split There's second to play. What will the number five do? Do you think he can throw off a shot, Jack? Oh, I fancy him. Oh, oh he wins for it. Oh. oh, sadly halfway for ladies. Oh. <laughs>